Okay, everybody. Um, we have picked up our dog from the trainer, and this is now the device that will give him a little bump or a little shock, but nothing that will hurt him, nothing that will just get his attention. And basically, if he was going to be chasing a cat, or we could sense he was going to chase a cat, we'd probably go with the electric shock. If it's just to get his attention, like Oakley heal, and he doesn't heal right away, we can hit a, just a vibrate and get him back. We think, I mean, um, we just, we, we've only had him 45 minutes, but he's a different animal already. He's the same dog, but he was much more under control. He only jumped up on Pat once and immediately was down. Uh, he does have a, she demonstrated a blanket that he would go to and he went straight to it and laid down. He will stay there for up to two hours. And imagine while we're sitting in the living room watching television, we, can, we have a mat in front of our, our uh, uh, fireplace. We can just tell him place or mat or whatever the word is we're gonna come up with. And he can be with us, but not in our face. So I would say, Patty, scale of one to 10, one being totally disappointed, 10 being euphoric over the moon, it's at least eight, if not higher. What would you say? I'd say at least that. And, and you know, we're gonna see what he's like when he come, gets to his house. <laughs> so he'll be able to be off his lead. Right now he's been living on a six foot lead. And now we'll be able to let him run around and sniff and be a dog and run and we can correct him we can call him back with come and Boy, then a vibrate zap. and uh, we feel encouraged because we were deathly concerned so anyway we'll more reports later and i'll send you all a photo of uh, emily the trainer so love you all see you soon